Hey Buddy Crow back again. Another pick up and play video. That's what I decided to call this series where I, I get a game and I decide I'm gonna kinda open it on camera and just kinda play it play it a bit. And um I I did that with the Space Invaders Forever uh game that I actually got in the mail yesterday and I actually played that today, but I was actually expecting another game I kinda ordered with this. It just came a day later, and that is this Atari flashback classics and this has been out for quite some time i think it was released in originally this particular version for the switch was released in december 2018 but these uh flashback collection games had actually been released as far back as 2016 on the playstation 4 and the xbox one and i specifically remember seeing them in target like i'd see oh flashback collection volume one and I want, kind of wanted to buy. I think it was like thirty bucks or something. If I at uh, I remember seeing it at Target. I think thirty bucks, but I'm not hundred percent sure. But then it bothered me that there was a volume one that had fifty games on it, and then a volume two released at the same time that had another fifty games on it. And it always bothered me. Why didn't they just release one collection with all a hundred games on it? Now, even if you wanted to double the price, I would have preferred that than having to switch discs for you know one set of 50 games and then another set of 50 games. And then uh, I remember again around 2018, 2019 seeing this. And I don't remember what the original price of this was. It was either 50 or $60. And I just didn't feel like paying that at the time. In the meantime, there was a volume three for the PS4 and the Xbox One. And it just felt ridiculous that the Switch had gotten all 150 games in one card, whereas the PS4 and the Xbox One versions were split upon three different discs. That seems rather bizarre to me. Um, also, in case you're curious, this exact collection was also released on the PlayStation Vita, physically, albeit solely through limited run games in 2019. But um, enough of my story about why it took me so long to want to buy this game. Oh, by the way, Amazon had it. It was like, it was a little bit less than $30, but let's just say $30 at the end of the day. And I was like, you know what, $30 for this collection? Yeah, you know, I'll buy it. And the only reason I saw this was because it was one of those recommendations for me adding Space Invaders Forever to my cart. And I was like, yeah, I do want this for $30. <laughs> so, um, not expecting much in there. Nope, um, again. No manual, just the card and a nice insert in there showing a lot of the different games. One of the bizarre things I thought was kind of funny is on the back of the card, the uh, the case here. And it kind of annoys me that like half of the case is like just garbage, like warnings, labels, and you know, this and that. And the other thing where the other half is the actual description of the game. Um, but they only there's 150 games here, and they only show six. <laughs> and they show Missile Command, Centipede, Tempest. Oh, the arcade version of Tempest. Uh, Adventure, Combat, and Yars Revenge. One player, two player, multiplayer. <laughs> okay, I thought one player and two player is uh, took care of multiplayer. Contains 150 video games, including Atari 2600, Atari 5200, and arcade classics, and I guess what they mean by arcade classics are arcade, oh, arcade classics, yeah, arcade games. Uh, and then a specifically shout out Gravatar, Crystal Castles, Major Havoc, uh, Circus Atari, and more on the back of the box. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on uh, TV and I'm going to play some. We're going to do the picture in picture thing. And hopefully I'll have the audio uh, problem that I had last time playing Space Invaders forever solved. So let's jump to playing some of this game all right i've got it set up and i'm pretty sure i have the audio settings correct now so shouldn't be any issue of my voice being too lower uh you know being drowned out by the game i think i should be able to adjust that stuff separately now i just didn't check it before but let's uh jump into this uh, oh a new update is a, an update these are old games aren't they well that was a really quick update <laughs> but why was there an update to begin with who knows? Code Mystics. When I Oh, at games. Okay, well, I would have said, you know, at games boo or whatever, but um, you know what? They're doing some pretty good stuff with that, uh, the arcade machine, the Legends arcade machine and the Legends pinball. So let's, um, there we go. I need to lower this a little bit. All right. So it looks like, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> um, 
it was expecting something. I'm curious to see how it handles paddle games and the like. Um, so that should be pretty interesting to see. LNR page. Okay, so we swap pages. Uh, options. D-pad options. But I'm... Oh, the start is options. I thought that was a D-pad. Okay, options for the games. Back. Leaderboards, multiplayer, achievements. Okay, well, let's see. We got... Um, I think these are all arcade games. Oh, they got fire truck. <laughs> um... So 11 pages of 12. That does that add up to 150? 11 pages of 12 is 132. So um, you know they got a bunch of arcade games. And now these are oh, okay. So there's more than 12 on some page pages. So it looks like the arcade games are the ones that we're taking up. So these are arcade games. Then we got ourselves some Atari 2600 games here. Ooh, Aqua Venture, that's an awesome game. Been playing it. Played that on the Evercade. 5200. Oh, so the 5200 games are mixed in? Is there any option to um, sort through these? Because I don't like the fact that they're kind of just shoehorned in there. The arcade games were separated out from those. Huh. Yeah, so just giving you an idea. Oh, Save Mary. That was never released. Well, maybe it was. I thought that was a prototype. Return to Haunted House. That's different. Uh, Secret Quest. So, yeah. How many pages? I mean, we got... Uh, there's five, three, fifteen on each of these pages. So, yeah, it probably is. Uh, I just wish there was a way to sort these. You'd think with 150 games, it'd make it easy to sort. But I do like the fact that we can see this. So, let's start out with something simple. We'll do... Um, Oh, I see. When we had to change the options there. So that we got leaderboards. But here, uh, Zari Arena, Yars Return. I hate Yars Return. <laughs> but if we go to Yars Revenge, we can hit X. And we can thumb through the manual. So it's nice that we got... Oh, we move the manual. That's interesting. <laughs> Zoom in on it. So we got some nice manual scans. I would really expect no less at this point for Atari 2600 games. But let's uh, start out with something simple. We'll try asteroids. Um, options. Let's go here. Controls. Okay, so I wonder, you can you map all these? Yes, you can. You can map everything, it looks like. Rotate left, rotate thrust, fire, hyperspace. So it looks like we're given the options to map all the buttons we want. Okay, dual grip or handheld mode. But some of these looks like you could use... That's why I grabbed some of the Joy-Cons just to see some of the games. But let's... Um, game. Starting lives. Okay, we got that. Display. Arcade. Bezel art. Okay, so we can have flicker. <laughs> TV mode. Filtered. Scan lines on. Vector growth. Low state. Okay, so these are just generic options for everything. It's got to be... So you got a lot of options for each game here. Okay, let's play it. Play Asteroid, see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks like we got that, so... Um, pretty easy to start here. And yeah, we're playing with some Asteroids and it sounds good. I don't know how long I'm going to play each game, but... <laughs> There's 150 games. I'm obviously not going to play them all here. Or not even half of them. Maybe a handful. Like one arcade game, maybe maybe one or two of each kind of game. But yeah, this is damn smooth. This is really good. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no asteroids expert. Let's just say that. Coming for ya. Coming for ya. Boom! Alright, let's uh, move on to a different game here. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that. Let's, um... I always hit home button for some reason. Let's go to main menu. Let's say try one more arcade game. What's a good one to try? 
um, like a, how Atari footballs there. <laughs> Monte Carlo. I don't know if I've ever played that. Pong is on here. It's the, can't have an Atari collection without Pong. I really like Lunar Lander, but that's, uh, I played that on the arcade What Up machine I got. <laughs> okay, I want to see uh, Tempest here. Um, I should have gone back to check the... Oops. Go back. I want to see the um, controls for this. Controls. Sensitivity. Oh, I see. So we're stuck playing with the... Uh... Okay, so you could only play with one Joy-Con if you wanted. I thought that the um, paddle controls may be maybe tilt sensitive because I've seen that before but it doesn't seem like that's an option hmm okay let me try something really quick all right out of curiosity I changed it to just a single joy-con and it doesn't seem like that changed anything but let's let's uh hmm. let's try it anyway I like how the menus changed uh, let's try it Yeah, I, I thought there might be a tilt option. But this looks really damn good. Ooh, it's really hard to play with this controller. Where's my, uh... Oh, there's my super jet. Okay. I used it up there. It, I thought it'd be the D button. But it's not. <laughs> but this is kind of, this is actually playable to a degree. I like how you can adjust the sensitivity though. Despite the fact we've got no and no actual spinner controls, but they uh, even the Joy-Con is working just fine for the most part. <laughs> ah, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't get it in the right spot. I kind of jumped too far over. Enough of that. All right, had to switch back. Um, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta see Monte Carlo. That seems really interesting. Um, oops, no, 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 no. I wanna <laughs> go back to the main menu for a second. I wanna see the um, controls, sensitivity, track, select, gas. Well, that's odd. Shift up, shift down. Well, okay, that's. Oof. Okay, there's simply shift up and shift down. Gas, track select. That's weird that there's no break. So let's give it a shot. Oops. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, do I? I have to. Whoa! Ah, I trapped. I crashed into the cola. Oh, I know what's messing me up. You have to. Okay. Now I know why I was, my control is so bad. You actually have to point the controller in the direction you want to go. It's not just left and right. Like to go up, you push up. To turn left, you push left. Really interesting controls. It couldn't have been the way it was in the arcade. It's it's the controls are really goofy. That's I naturally just wow. 
<laughs> okay, the face buttons are... <laughs> My fool's fuel's about to run out. Okay, I crashed him. Okay. Oh, track select. That's right. I see down there. Okay, but that's enough of that. <laughs> well, let's jump into some Atari 2600 and... Um, I don't want any of those. 5200 games for 5200. I don't know if I've played that version. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Oops. Go back for a minute. Controls. Fire. A. Sensitivity. That's right, because we used the analog stick. Because 5200 was analog. Highlighted key. Interesting. Okay. X. Okay. Start. Okay, cool. I like, kind of like how they did the menu over there. We'll do one screen clear and then we'll move on to something else. To be honest, I think I prefer the um, <laughs> Atari 2600 version. That seemed to move a little bit smoother. I don't think I've ever played the 5200 version of Asteroids. Screen cleared and we're moving on. I thought we would move on. Name my name. Oh, Astro Blast! I think we gotta try this one out. You know, the, uh... Whoa, whoa! Go back for a minute, go back for a minute. <laughs> oh, Council. Okay, we can bring up the Council and hit buttons. Cool! I like that. That is smooth. <laughs> power, power, power. Turn it off. <laughs> Yellow color, black and white. This is the way you do it. Man, I really wish Evercade would have done something like this for their Atari 2600 games. No way to change the difficulty, unless they did it on accident. ZR, game select. Yeah, that is sweet. That is sweet. And B. So is that what brought it up? Or what, what did that do? I hit to bring it up again. But hang on, hang on. Go back a minute. Oh, I just hit start and went to console. I thought there would be a button for that. Maybe there is. Let's, uh, I keep forgetting to check the controls here. Absolute. Oh, we can change it uh, to relative. Absolute relative. So you even got that option. And the nice thing about absolute... Okay, I like absolute, actually. Just have to remember... It's an interesting way to tackle it. But there was no... Um, go back to the main menu for a second. There should be a manual. Okay. Yeah, I just was curious. Because we have the manual. Was this a paddle game? Oh, it was a... Use joysticks. One juice. Oh, you could use... I didn't know you could play Astro uh, Blast with a paddle. Optionally, I always played it with the uh, controller. I didn't know you... That would make this game a hell of a lot better, right? <laughs> Console. Um, they could have streamlined this by hitting a button to bring this up. Game reset. Let's play a round of... Okay, that was not expected. Again, not expected. You know what? Maybe relative would be better. <laughs> All right. That, oh, I blew up. Wow, it's really... F yeah, you really need... Oh, okay. Using the D-pad field. Oh, I think it just automatically switched to uh, joystick controls by using the D-pad. But yeah, this game is better on the Intellivision. For sure, definitely.
Yeah, it's far more playable using the joystick, I think. But, you know, by tweaking the paddle controls, it may be playable. But let's uh, jump to uh, something else. Let's try something else. Um, video cue, blackjack, canyon bomber, uh, bowling, <laughs> centipede, the Atari 5200 version. Which actually used a trackball, but I'm not going to play that here. Okay, we got to try Circus Atari. Um, actually, I got to go back here. Oops. Main menu, because I keep forgetting relative. Do I want relative or absolute? Let's try absolute again. Let's turn the sensitivity down. A little bit. Alright, back in here. That might be better. Let's try. Okay. Oh, the sound doesn't sound quite right. Why isn't he going all the way over there? See, if I use the D-pad, he does go all the way over there, but using... Huh. Man, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, you're not going to substitute the paddles in the least by playing it on here at all. Still playable, but really, 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 really. You're not going to be able to score the same at all. I'd say the analog stick is even worth doing. It works better with the d-pad and even then breakout circuit okay let's try again i really like circus atari let's see if we can clear at least one roll of balloons Ooh, this is tough man it is tough without paddles there we go Yeah, it'd be nice <laughs> if I could plug uh, this thing into the switch somehow and have it work. That would be good, right? <laughs> then I'd have paddle controller. Right to Nintendo. Hey, Nintendo, we need paddle controls for Circus Atari. There we go. We. I'm happy I got one row of balloons. <laughs> But yeah, no substitute for actual hardware. No substitute at all. I mean, it looks pretty, but it sure ain't that play playable. I mean, you could tinker with the... Oops. You could tinker with the... Um, oops. I don't want to get out of here. I was really curious to see how the um, paddle came to control on our countermeasure. Double dunk. Oh, I do not like double dunk. Would have been nice if they could have thrown some 7800 games on here, though. Oh, man, the Atari 2600 version of Desert Falcon. Phew, what a waste of a space. Final Legacy, never heard of that one. Football, Frog Pond. What the hell is Frog Pond? I never heard of this. Up, down. I've heard of Frogs and Flies. I have never heard of this. Reset. Let's go. Yep. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I left the scan lines on. Supposedly you could turn the scan lines off. That looks fine. Although, it just occurred to me that it may not look that great on uh, Capture. Let me turn that off. Turn the scan lines off. Yeah, it's a lot of different um, touch controls. Interesting. I'll have to take that out of the dock and see if 
you could play the paddle games with a touch control. There we go. That'll be better for capture. <laughs> okay, enough of this. Okay, I get, I get the point. It's like frogs and flies, but without the other person. Gravatar is an awesome game. Oh, there's frogs and flies. That is on here. Holy moly. <laughs> micro gammon. Is that like bad gammon, but micro? <laughs> we got Atari 5200 version of uh, mini golf. Missile command. Motor rodeo. Night driver. Pong sports. Why that? Why? I mean. Otherwise known as Video Olympics, but I thought Video Olympics was the official name of the game. Why would they go with the Sears Telegames version of that? That seems really bizarre. Race, another. Isn't that just Indy 500? Why are they going with the Sears Telegames versions of these games' names? Basketball, baseball. Oh, real sports. Save Mary Sam. Okay, I gotta see Return to Haunted House. Um. I like Honda House, but it's a manual for this. Return to Honda is a fan-made sequel to Haunted House based on the based on the design of Adventure? What? This isn't a Haunted House, this is gonna be Adventure. Well we still gotta see it. <laughs> okay, this is yeah. This is okay. I see what they did. They took Adventure and they modded it to play like Haunted House. Can we go up and down stairs? Ugh, this is... This is... This is like a mashup between the two games. I don't know. I, I just... I missed the wackiness of... Uh, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> what do I have? Where are the critters? Where's the ghosts? Where's the tarantula? I'm sure they're around somewhere. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's the ghost. Oh, he acts like the dragon! <laughs> oh, boy. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, I thought it would be a new version of Haunted House. Instead, it's adventure made to look like Haunted House. Sprint Master, Space War, Space Attack. Steeplechase! Let's see if they got something right here with Steeplechase that the Evercade couldn't. Yep, you can control your height. That's something they forgot to do in the uh, Evercade version. It's a medium for medium. And you gotta go the, the higher for the... Uh... In the Evercade version, they just... Oops. Ugh. Just made you jump high all the time. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, this is the Evercade version. Just one button, no dial. It just kind of guaranteed that you'd make all clear all the obstacles. But play on anything harder than uh, the, the easiest difficulty and you'll never win. Almost there. I've got it. Ah, okay, that means I won. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Ooh, oh, man. They put the prototype on here, too. What is with them putting the pro this Tempest prototype that barely functions? This was on the Evercade, too. Look at this.
this game barely is a prototype. It's an unfinished prototype. Why put that on here and count it as one of the games? I mean, it's a little bit easier pill to swallow when there's it's a bundle with 120, 50 games. 150 games. But it's a harder pill to swallow when it's on the Evercade. And it, it's bundled with 20 games. That's garbage. Why? <laughs> Stunt cycle. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. I don't remember exactly how to play this. Yeah, I, uh, you have to adjust your speed somehow, but I'm not. I'm too lazy to figure that out right now. <laughs> Warlords, great game. Wizard, great game. Was there something I wanted to check out? Yes, there is. I'm going to take the switch and see if touch controls play a factor. Hang on. I've got the switch in hand. We're just doing this on my webcam. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can touch Warlords. And uh, oh, look at this. We can... Game reset. Um, please connect the controller for a play... Oh, yes! We can slide our finger. I think. Yeah, we can actually touch the, the guy and move him. I don't know how well you're seeing that because my finger's over the guy, but you can't. Okay, let's, let's go back and try Circus Atari like this. All right, Circus Atari here. Oh, look at this. I don't know. I'm going to have to try and do something fancy here, but you can control on the screen. I don't know how you can... I, well, I guess I have to hit the button to uh, hit the guy or... What is that? That was a weird reflection right there. <laughs> oh, that's, um, that's my other part, the other part of the screen. But let's see here. Let's see if we can do something like this. Oh, wow. So you can see... That makes this way more playable. I was complaining about this earlier. And I won't play a whole lot like this, but the fact that you could use your finger to slide and use it like a, a paddle, that is something you, <laughs> it's impossible to play that way. But And also just being able to like physically touch the, um, the switches and stuff, that is fantastic. Now that's that's fantastic. That is the reason to get this for the Switch. I mean, yeah, you can play. Um, you can play definitely with the um, <laughs> with the joysticks and stuff. But man, being able to use the touch screen for paddle controls and stuff that is worth the price of admission for all these games that require analog or even trackball games. Um, again, you're not going to really see a whole lot. I mean. I guess on this game, it doesn't matter where you put your finger. He slides back and forth. But uh, maybe you could do that and hold the Joy-Con in one hand for the button pushes. It works. It's it's acceptable, I'd say. It's more accept. It's probably what I would say um, <laughs> uh, the next best thing to a paddle, have, actually having a paddle. So, yeah, there we go. That is um, the Atari Flashback Classics. On the Switch for 30 bucks, 150 games. Well worth it, even though a couple of them are duds for sure. But with 150 games, you're going to get duds. At least it's better than getting a couple dub, duds in a, game, a pack of 20 as opposed to 150. But yeah, we're going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.